How's it going Eliminators? Today we're going to be installing a JLT 3.0 oil separator on my 2019 Ford F-150 with a 5 liter V8. So let's get right into it. So before we get started on the installation, I just wanna explain the purpose of an oil separator for those of you that may not know. So as engines run, they do produce hydrocarbons and a little bit of what's known as blow-by. That's a little bit of the combustion from the cylinder bypassing the piston rings and going into the bottom end of the engine. Now every engine needs a crankcase vent because there's going to be different pressures inside of the engine and it needs to vent that. Now on newer vehicles and a lot of newer small engines, they're running their crankcase vents back into the intake. So as you could imagine, all of these hydrocarbons and oil vapor gets routed from the crankcase vent and it's reintroduced into the intake manifold, which means it's gonna get burned off in the engine. Now burning off these hydrocarbons and this oil vapor will cause significant carbon buildups inside of your engine and that's not good guys, we don't want that. So running an oil separator, you're going to separate that oil vapor from the crankcase gases and all of those oil vapors are gonna be trapped inside of the oil separator reservoir. So with that being said, let's get to the install. So here we have an oil separator off of my friend's truck and you guys can see all the crud that builds up inside of this. So we just have a little clear container here and we're gonna show you all of the nasty stuff that comes out of it. You guys can see it's not coming out too easily. Really gross stuff. And this is all stuff that's gonna get built up inside of your engine and your engine's gonna burn that off and all of that is gonna turn into carbon buildups and unnecessary gunk inside of your engine. So today we're gonna be installing a JLT 3.0 oil separator into the five liter here. So we're gonna have to be drilling some holes into our little battery tray right here. But before we do that, we're gonna have to go ahead and disconnect this little tab holding these wires and then we can go ahead and mock up our mounting bracket. So they want you to drill into this plastic battery kind of holder here. But what we're gonna do is use one of the holes that Ford supplies for the little cable mount there. And we've just put our little J clip in there and we put a bolt in there just to kind of line ourselves up. And then we can go ahead and mock up our bracket and drill our secondary hole in the back there. And we've just left our cable tucked in between the battery and the battery holder for now. So we've hooked up the bracket onto the little reservoir here. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten the bolts up onto our little battery holder here. Okay, so now that we have this bolted down and tightened up, we're gonna go and unhook the factory PCB connectors. So you're gonna see that blue little tab, you're just gonna push that and lift right up. And on this one down here, there's one on the back side as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull that off. So we're gonna be removing this piece right here. So we're gonna be going with the 90 degree to the PCB valve. And then the one with the 45 degree connector, we're gonna be putting onto the intake side. And those are just push fit guys. So I didn't like how the tubes were running kind of kinked. So we've extended it this way and we're just gonna go ahead and take a zip tie and zip tie it to the air conditioning tube here. And this is what the final product looks like. So this will catch all of the oil from the engine, preventing the engine from burning it. And I'll update you guys after my first oil change to show you how much is inside of that reservoir. Now to further expand on my previous explanation of why you should run an oil separator, I just want to explain quickly how it works. So basically heat rises, so you're gonna notice that the position of the JLT oil separator is located on a mount that is relatively high in the engine bay. And this is by design, guys. What that means is because heat rises, the oil vapor is going to travel up one tube, the oil vapor is going to condensate inside of the top of the reservoir, similar to a green greenhouse effect. All of that oil vapor that condensates in the top is going to drip down into the reservoir below. And JLT made it super simple. It's honestly one of the best and easiest designs. You simply unthread the bottom reservoir, dump it out, and thread it back in. It's super simple. So this JLT 3.0 oil separator gets a five star rating in my opinion. The installation was super simple. You guys could see it was super quick. I had absolutely no issues installing this and I will end up doing an update video in the future. I'd also like to give a shout out to my buddy Jake and his father for helping me with this install. They provided me with a shop to work on my truck. So thanks guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week so be sure to stop on by next week check the channel out for new content and as always guys thanks for watching